Hello, this is Smilefoots, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. So in this episode, we are continuing our adventure. In the previous episode, we did get halfway through the overall... Um, we did get halfway through the overall experience, and now we're going to the Mario Sunshine-inspired level. Simply because that's the one that's on the list next. So, I know we're definitely going to need Yoshi for this. But the more green stars we get, the better. I've seen it. There we go. Got the first one. And then the next one requires us to use Dash Pepper to run on water. And I think the last one's the trampoline one. There we go. Come on. The quicker we get through two later levels the better. There we go. So this is the one that's by the um, water tower. Come on. Come on. Come on, Luigi, come on. Here we go. You find a dash pepper now to go get the second one. And once we've got the second one, then we've all we've got left then is the um, okay. So, what the goal will be is to um, run up to it, and then once we've grabbed once we're high enough, jump off Yoshi to get it. The reason is, is because, well, we need to potentially... The thing is, is we need to jump off Yoshi in order to get it, potentially, so... We need to jump sooner. Because once the flutter jump's done, you can jump off Yoshi. Therefore, it's all about timing on this one. Then once we've done this one, 
Then we get to do the other one. Why is it always so difficult for the Yoshi levels? The ones we've done the Yoshi level, then that's good. Yeah, come on. There we go. We did it. On to the next one, which shouldn't be as difficult. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Then after that, it's Chomp Works. Come on. I know this game likes to, well, be quite challenging. Have we at least got a Yoshi in this? If not, then I might go ahead and... Yep, we need a cloud flower, so let's go as if we're doing the actual level, and then once we've got that, then we can jump off that and literally do um, the cloud flower to get what we need to get. Once we've got what we need to get, get the green star, and then move on to Chomp Works. Go. go the nuts open now there we go leaf raft these are from sunshine the mother who's done this There we go. And then on to the next one. Because once we get through all of these levels quick, then it's really good. Here we go. Come on, 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 come on. Chomp works now.
Here we go, come on. With chomp works, it seems like it's gonna be quite challenging. For the third one. First two should be fine, it's the other two now. There we go. There we go. Close the window over. Otherwise we're gonna get um <laughs> outside sounds and there's currently people playing outside so I don't really want that getting into my video oops okay come on come on come on come on come on Especially because if outside there's people swearing or something, then that makes this video unable to be released. And then, if for instance I can't release the video that I've just filmed, then yes, it causes it to become a lot more difficult. There we go. It's the first one. We've got two more now. Two more to get, and then once we've got those two, then we're on to um, the honey hop one. Then once we're on to the honey hop one, then we're on to the one after, and then the one after that, then the one after that, and then we just keep rolling until we're done. There we go. Two more in this galaxy. There we go. Oh, the next one's got to be Sweet Mystery. And then it's going to be Honey Hop. Come on. Come on, now we just need to get to the, um, to the place where we can get on the roof. After that, it's the spring level. Once we've done the spring level... And got the one there. Then, after we've done that, then it's Sweet Mystery, then Honey Hop, and then. And then, once we've done Honey Hop and the Castle, then in the next episode, we'll be starting World 5, which is potentially going to slow us down a bit because. The levels in that world I don't particularly enjoy anyway, so just because I find them quite boring. And it's funny that we're starting off with the levels that I particularly like. And then finishing off with some of the ones that I don't like. There we go. Fly over. Nope, we're not to the bit we need to be at, so. The thing is, though, is you could easily use where those chomps are coming out as a place to, like, grind star bits. If, for instance, you really are... If you needed to. Like, I don't particularly use this as a place to grind star bits. I use later levels as a way to grind them. But yeah, if you want to grind star bits, it's not the most efficient, but you could easily do that and then complete the level. It's just not as efficient as the way that I've shown in my videos. Here we go. One more, and then we're on to the next world. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. One more, and then after that, we're on to Sweet Mystery. There you go, come on. Come on, once we finish this, that'll be good. Okay, we're using the health, Hellish Spring. Um, we're using the worst item in the game, really. There we go. One game that I'd really like to play again is Sheep. I'd like to play Sheep again. Here we go, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sweet Mystery is one of those levels in this game that is just a gimmick level. It's just a gimmick based level. I don't mind doing gimmick levels as long as you're not like forced to just keep doing them. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. It's difficult. Come on. Once we've done this, hopefully it will improve. When you're trying to avoid stuff, it's a lot more difficult. Go. There we go. Off to this one now, and it's top of the spire just there. Luckily, there's like no like take damage obstacles. I'm I'm gonna play it safe by going high up and then after that dropping down. There we go. That one's done. No one to sweet mystery. So it says one's just after the midway flag. And the other one is located just past the Comet Medal. Then after that it will be Honey Hop. Then once we've done Honey Hop, then it's the castle. And then that will be the end of this episode. And then the next one we'll be doing even more 
stuff from world five and then world six then special world then once we've done special world then yeah Seen it. And what we want to do is now want to stay here and drop onto it. There we go. And then the second one is just past the comet medal. So we need to go as if we're going to go and get the comet medal again. But after that, it's the Honey Hop Galaxy. Go, come on. Then we'll be on 190. We're almost to 200 stars. Once we get up to about 200 stars, and there's only 40 left, you can tell you can tell how quickly we're flying through this game, just by the amount of like stars and that we've collected. Come on. There we go. Come on, 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 come on. So eat this. There we go. There we go. Now we're on honey ha. And it says Queen B and um, Red Balloon. There we go. That's Sweet Mystery Dawn. So next is Honey Hop. Once we've done Honey Hop, then it's the castle. Then once we finish the castle, then it's literally um, World 5, then. And then it's World 6, then it's Special World, then it's Grandmaster Galaxy. We go green star one. Green star one is the balloon. If we do miss it, then we'll just. If we do miss it, then we'll just get the one off the B. There's the red balloon. Because you have to pop the balloon to reveal it. I wonder if the collector coin to get an extra flight actually works in Galaxy 1. I don't think it does. I think it's only in Galaxy 2 where that was in it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Then we're going to wait, and then as soon as we start seeing the bubble starting to float, there we go. Okay, you have to be a bee anyway. In order to use those flowers, you need to be a bee, so...
If you've not got a bee costume, you need to get one. Okay. Okay. The thing is, is sometimes I wish I was playing as Mario, but it's only fair. Mario did the main adventure, so Luigi has to do the um, the other levels. Because then, in theory, even though playtime we've not used the um, both brothers evenly in the actual um, star count, we have used the brothers about evenly because because the thing is is. I don't particularly like playing as Luigi in Galaxy 2. Just because. Whether you use him or not. Um, even though there is a difference in the way the game plays. That is noticeable. But the thing is. is The only reason you would play as Luigi is just. Just because you like Luigi more than Mario or. Because at the time, it was very rare to be able to play as like Luigi in a 3D Mario. Even though personally, I think that by having it on two player, there we go, we've got the first star. Now we just need to do all that again, climb to the top and go to the B. Once we've done the B, then it will be the castle. And I don't care if the episode drags on slightly, just because, yeah, I'm not going to just leave two stars for the next episode. Plus as well, the whole goal is 12 stars per episode. That's our target. Like in the main series, it was like five stars. There we go. Green Star 2. Once we've done Green Star 2, then it's the tower. It's the castle tower thing. And then once we've done the castle tower, then all that's left then is... The last three worlds. Plus as well, when you 100% complete games and that, and you've got a complete checklist of everything that you need to get, it's so satisfying to see it all fill up. When we get to the point where it is relevant to... When we get to the point where it is relevant to look at, like... That's good. The only thing is, is, is I wish the um, like galaxy list wasn't so inaccurate. Like in one way, I wish, especially when you get to areas where you have like. The way to choose two galaxies. Personally, I wish it was literally when you come to a split, you choose which way you want to go, and then the first galaxy you get a star in be the one that's on top of the list. One, that would make it unique for all players, and two, it would also make it like really enjoyable yeah yeah My whole goal at the moment is just to get up to the Queen Bee. 
Because once we get to Queen B, then we can. We get players a cutscene. Same type of cutscene as in the first galaxy. Queen Bee has got a star on her, so climb up. There we go. Got the green star. So now, because we've done that, what we now want to do is we now want to do the Bowser Castle. Question block to this tower. We go. We go. I know this is going to extend the episode a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, I'm not leaving one level left in a world. If there were more levels left, yes, I would have left it. But because it's this now. There's a tower somewhere. I think that's the tower just there, the one that's on a slight angle. Yep. There we go. And then we've got one more left to do, and then once we've got that one, then World 4 is finished. Then we're on to World 5, then World 6, then Special World, and then once the secret slash Special World's done, then we're ready. There we go. 191 stars. There we go. There we go. One last one. I can't believe that how long this Wii Remote has lasted, considering how much the Wii keeps saying the Wii Remote's out of battery. It's not out of battery. The Wii Remote is quite warm, though, so looking at the time of recording, I think I'm going to take a break after this one and then continue playing a little bit later on. Anyway... Now we just need to get through to where the other one is. So after the water segment. After the swimming segment. The 2D swimming segment it says. In my notes. Yep. 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 Here come, boom, 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 boom. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. I can hear it. There it is. It's on top of that question block. The checkpoint flag killed me. That's the first. There we go. So thanks for watching this episode, and in the next episode, we'll be starting off on world number five.
So thanks for watching this series so far. I hope you're enjoying it and I hope it's helping you complete your Super Mario Galaxy 2 adventures. So in the next episode we will continue our adventure into world number 5. Bye!